bollards. Here in the hole. What's up guys, Big Sean here, up here in Northeast South Dakota. It's like November 1st. I got this field, um, there was probably probably a couple thousand ducks in there last night and a bunch of geese, but with all the spinners we're gonna have going, we're not really trying for the geese, we're trying to shoot ducks in the field. So we've got 16, 17, 18, 19 spinners. I don't know, a bunch. Um, put out all the lessers and ducks kind of tight. Lessers and ducks in the field, uh, better if they feed tight, they intermingle a lot. So I set the decoy spread out the same way. And then I'll take some of these big ones and I'll put these on the corners. A couple pairs all set to make it look more realistic. Well, they're already coming in on us. Be cool if we got some of those those green wings that come in. A little dry land teal shoot, that'd be cool. And there goes a green head right there. Mallards are already coming in too. The lighting should be good and hopefully we can kill some. Well guys, it's day two in South Dakota. Um, yesterday we had a good hunt. We didn't uh, quite kill a full limit. I think we ended up at like 19 or 20. Um, we are trying to get them right on film. Obviously we like to do that, we like to finish them right. But the sun was out yesterday like it is now and it started off real good. We had good lighting, um, birds were coming in good and finishing pretty decent. Um, as the afternoon went on, clouds came in. A lot of the birds weren't finishing tight. They were kind of peeling the edges. I think they were picking us out in the blind. So today we're gonna try it again. We're about hour and a half from where we were yesterday in a new field. A um, little bit different setup here. We got mallards in tight, right in the center, spinners in there. We got lessers on one side, big geese on one side. Um, just try to get a different look. And we're gonna run some of the uh, big owls with no spinners in them at all, just to see how the birds react. We got a great hide. We picked this spot today because of the hide. We're a little bit off the X. They're just kind of swirling around this area, but we found the hide back here in this dried up pond. We got tumbleweeds and we put panel blinds back there. So we're looking good today. We got a good hide. They're not going to see us. Hopefully they fly out early enough. It's starting to get warm. It's like 45 degrees and we can get you guys some good footage. So we'll see what happens. <laughs>
give in to them. We're about ready to lose our sunlight, but we just had a big Mondo lot come in. We're trying to let them work, look nice, sunshine. We got widgeon, pintail, mallards, carcass beak. Kill them in the hole, guys. Quick in the mallard. Widgeon, mallards, pintail. We got any teal tonight? Gadwall. No. Oh, we have got gadwall. Well, that was fun. That was, our, that was our second day filming out here. It all happened within, what, 20 minutes probably? Yeah, I'm they all come off that water and they coming in hot. And they were coming quick. So we shot a quick five-man limit and then we filmed some more coming in. And now we're going to pick all the big owls up and head back for some grub. We had a good time filming the last couple days and killing ducks in a dry field in I South Dakota. It.